Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Plague Inc. Evolved Official Scenarios. Well, we're moving down the list into something pretty difficult, and that would be smallpox. Patient Zero is infected with a strain of variola major that escaped from a lab. Humanity eradicated smallpox over 30 years ago, and has a detailed knowledge of the virus as well as powerful vaccination programs. Will this be enough to stop one of the deadliest diseases that mankind has ever known? This is a very, very difficult scenario, and every practice game I've had so far has ended in misery, but I've gotten really close, and uh, I figure I can probably capture this on camera at some point. So, the crux of the smallpox scenario is that you are going to start off with a lot of severity and lethality because of pre-evolved uh, symptoms, and also, humanity is going to notice you very early on and start working on that cure very rapidly because they already know about you and eradicated you through vaccines a long time ago. We have to get around that, and that's going to be pretty darn difficult, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. You have to play as a virus in this type. We will go for the ATP boost, Darwinist, because we're going for a transmission focus, so uh, any extra mutations might be able to help. Aquasite, so we can get to the islands faster, and in fact, I found the islands are so difficult to get into that you have to go for Hydrophile to even have a chance as well. Hopefully this will give us an extra spread uh, in our starting country of India, kind of get us going faster. But anything that can kind of help inc increase our odds of getting around in countries that are considered humid is going to go a long way for us. Because starting off with this extra severity and uh, lethality is going to mean that the islands want to shut their ports down very early on. So we need every bonus we can get. Let's go ahead and try it on Mega Boodle. It's called Variola Major and see what happens. Okay, to start things off, we are going to be in India today because we need to start off in a humid region since we got bonuses for that, and India is not considered to be a wealthy country with a very large population for us to work with, which is going to be good. Now, if we go to transmissions, we have quite a few different things here. We're going to grab Insect 1 immediately because that's very useful in a place like India. We also have access to Blood, Livestock, Droplets, which is good for planes, Fomites, and Fomites here will lead into the water and air transmission that we will need, so this is going to be the next thing that we're going to get. As far as symptoms, you know, it's uh, got some similarities to the basic plague tree with a few moder uh, minor modifications here. We start off with rash, skin lesions, systematic infection, sorry, systemic infection, and pustules. Also, pneumonia, coughing, sneezing, nausea, fever, and sweating. And this is how much severity and lethality we start off with. Now, the good news about starting off with this much severity is that we're going to get a lot of DNA from bubbles pretty early on. The downside is they're going to start working on that cure remarkably quickly. So we're going to have to move very fast in this scenario and hopefully not get any more uh, lethality than we already have so we don't um, provoke the other countries to shut down their borders prematurely. For abilities, we have our standard cold, heat, and drug resistance. We also have the Vaccine Shield, which is going to be very important in the early game. Introduces key genetic variations that renders the current smallpox vaccine ineffective. And the reason this is important is because uh, we will be infecting people, but the number of infected will decrease over time if we do not get this Vaccine Shield. So this is going to be absolutely critical. It will also open up into three different types of vaccines, and we're going to have to pay attention to the news tracker to find out which one uh, different countries will be releasing and try to counteract it accordingly. But we can only really afford to get two, hopefully, two of the three. Otherwise, it just gets too expensive. So we really need to be paying attention to that. There's also black pox, which uh, makes us gives us the ability to have extra lethality, basically. It's a gating mechanism. And then there's white pox, which is going to reduce severity and lethality, hoping that uh, humanity will be less concerned about you. I've never gone for either of these because I don't think it's really worth the DNA cost because everything's already incredibly tight. And even if I did go for the white pox, they're going to detect me very early regardless. So I don't see much point in these in Mega Brutal Difficulty. All right, let's go ahead and start up in India, see how things look. It's going to be tough. This is not an easy scenario by any stretch of the imagination. I would argue this is actually one of the hardest scenarios in the game right now. Maybe the hardest. Go for the Fomites, and as you can see, this unlocks the water and air transmissions we're looking for. Fomites, of course, is helpful in wealthy urban environments, and if we can go for all of these, we will unlock the Extreme Bio Aerosol. Anything that helps to work with our uh, natural tendency towards water and humidity is going to be crucial for us. And the next thing we're going to probably want to get, see, they've already detected us. That's how, that's, we've got 27 people infected and they already have noticed. Because smallpox is that big of a deal. So, uh, with any luck though, what we can do is grab the vaccine shield immediately. That's going to reduce our infectivity, but it's also going to stop them 
from reducing the number of infected. So that's pretty useful for us. Uh, and the next thing we want to go for probably is going to be some water transmission kind of early on, honestly. There we go. Go for the water. We'll go for some air just to kind of unlock it, but then we'll focus a bit more on water. I'm going to go for that extreme bio aerosol as quickly as I am able. Um, now, I don't think there are any other really viable starting locations. Um, I mean, because we went for so many humidity modifiers and water modifiers, we want some place with a port. We want some place that is humid. So starting in a place like Saudi Arabia, which is arid, I, I don't think is a very solid idea. Probably much better to start off in a place like India with a very large population that we can use, hopefully. Uh, next, we're going to go for the water too, yeah? Yeah, so we'll do that next. Getting into France, bits of Europe, all right, that's fine. Going to go for some air too next, um, and then probably going for that extreme. Let's just go ahead and grab the fomites, honestly. We're already in Europe. Starting in a little bit better in uh, urban and wealthy environments can be kind of useful. There's the air transmission. We actually have access to extreme bio aerosol before we get water two and air two, but we're going to want all of them regardless, so let's just go ahead and do that. Notice, by the way, we're getting a pretty substantial amount of DNA out of the red and orange bubbles. It's just never freaking enough. Um, all right, next I'm going to go for some droplets. This improves our infectivity on planes, which can help us get a pretty early start. We did get um, uh, osteomyelitis, which uh, basically is a little bit of extra lethality. It's kind of unfortunate, but it's not a huge deal. We did go for the Darwinist because you never know you might get one of those really, really helpful uh, uh, mutations kind of early on. That saves your game. We're going to go for some uh, cold resistance and then some drug resistances next. As we're kind of getting our spread around, hopefully we spread faster in Russia. Drug resistance level 2 will probably be next on my list. We got into Canada a little on the earlier side. That's pretty helpful. This is going to cost me 29 DNA. All right, no problem. Grabbed it. Cool. Now let's take a look at the tracker here and see if... Okay, UK is beginning an experimental vaccine program, but they haven't fully developed it yet. And so did India. So everyone's working on their new vaccines, but no one has developed them yet. So we have the uh, EJ2 vaccine shield, the EJ7 vaccine shield, and the EJ13 vaccine shield. Uh, probably they are going to develop this one first, but we just want to double check and make sure there's a reason that we have all three of them unlocked. EJ13 is the most expensive, so if they do get developed that early on, we might be in a bit of trouble. Whoop. Okay, a lot of other people beginning their experimental vaccine programs. We're going to have to be paying attention to this one, and honestly, I'm going to slow things down to just level 2 speed, because I need to be able to respond to everything going on here. I'm going to go ahead and grab some livestock for a little bit of extra rural transmission. Going for extra insects and livestock is not going to be a bad idea, because we do want to have as much mutation as possible at this point. Uh, I will go for, well, let's see, how's the cure looking? All right, let's go ahead and grab a level of genetic hardening to kind of slow things down because the cure is going to be very difficult to fight in this scenario simply because they get a really, really strong start against you. Uh, the other thing you could go for, and we probably will eventually, is corneal ulceration, which can trigger blindness and severe, and it uh, reduces the work on the cure. In fact, let's go ahead and grab it now. Why not? Let's go ahead and grab some uh, blood transmission, trying to increase that as much as we are able to without getting too much more severity. This will help us in some of the poorer countries as well. We probably should go for genetic hardening level 2 before we go too far, so we'll grab that next. Notice they're going really, really fast here. I'm on speed 2, and that's how quick they're going. Got to be really concerned about that, you know? All right, we're going to go for blood 2. Again, more mutation chance. And then we have extreme hemato uh, hematophagy. Hematophagy? Hematophagy? Hematophagy, I think. Increasing infectivity in the poor regions and mutation chance even further. We're going to get close to maxed out here on our infectivity. And then it's pretty much just praying that things go well for us. Have they got that vaccine? Uh, yes. In fact, they went for EJ7 first. No, I'm wrong. They did get EJ2. See, this is why you have to be paying attention to this thing. They've got two levels of the vaccine program, and I didn't even notice. Because you don't get a pop-up about it, so you have to watch the news tracker. I would actually say that's one of the things that I find the most frustrating about this scenario, bar none. Let's go ahead and stop those uh, vaccines. There we go. We're not going to be able to go for the third one, so if they release that one, we're kind of in trouble. But yeah, now we have the vaccine failing across the board. Good, alright, so they're going to work on that third one, but uh, there's there's no way we can beat that. It's going to cost 38 DNA at this point. So, we want to go for the extreme hematoph uh, hematophagy if we can. Pay attention to the islands, because if any one of them closes down before you get into it, you're pretty much done for. We are missing Greenland, Sweden, and Morocco. Sweden and Morocco are bad, but not the end of the world. 
Morocco actually has closed down their borders, so I'm hoping the air transmission gets me there, but it's really a question about Greenland, and um, we did get Coma for free. That's certainly helpful. Let's go for that extreme hematophagy, and now we are maxed out on our infectivity. So we could just save up our points for genetic reshuffles. The other thing we could go for is something like necrosis. Personally, I'm not eager to increase my severity and lethality any more than I have to until I get a boat out to Greenland, which it looks like we are now getting. So I think we have to go for necrosis next, and then everything we've got goes toward the genetic reshuffle because they're still working on that incredibly quickly. Reset things. India is in anarchy. Abscess is mutated. That's more infectivity for us. We got into Morocco. We got into Sweden. Now we just need to beat down that cure. Go for the genetic reshuffle. Holy crap, are we actually going to get it today? Uh, I would like to think so, but I'm not convinced yet. Getting close. Immune suppression. Okay, that's nice. Uh, glad we got the necrosis, because it means we actually have a chance to beat this. Go for the genetic reshuffle. Uh, did they ever finish that vaccine? Cure 95% complete. Not anymore. Australia's government has fallen. Looking for the red. I do not see anything about EZ, uh, EJ13 yet. Okay, looks like they did not manage to finish that off. Oh, that is so incredibly helpful. All right, so I guess we should go for any more symptoms that will help us. Uh, hypersensitivity for the rich countries can be nice. Pulmonary edema, um, acute encephalitis. Mm. Dysentery is pretty darn lethal. Uh, there's nothing else here that's going to slow down the cure, unfortunately. So, there's, yeah, we just have to go for as much lethality as possible. And if that's the case, I'm going to go for the dysentery. I'm going to go for the acute encephalitis and the pulmonary edema. And at this point, we've cast the dice. Let's see what happens. Most of the world is dead, which means they're not going to be able to kill, uh, work on me too fast. Uh-oh. We might actually... Well, okay, nope, we're actually going to do it. We're going to get it. Holy crap, thank God. I was like, you know what, let's just start recording. And if I have to go several more times, we're going to be okay. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll explain the mechanics and I'll record it as many times as I need to in order to get this to work. But first try on Mega Brutal. Holy crap, we I just got incredibly lucky. The important thing is we actually did not get placed on the watch list early on, because that would have been definite failure right there. If you get into the on the watch list, placed on the World Health Organization watch list in the first um, few months or the first couple years, you're, you're done for. Actually, no, not years, sorry. First couple months. Because you're so severe, they can do that. That can happen. So if you've only infected, like, oh, I don't know, let's say half of India, and you get placed on that, just restart. It's not worth the effort. But every country in the world has been fully infected. Sweden has a few hundred people trying so desperately to hold on, and that's it. And we got the freaking achievement! Ha 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 ha! I'm so happy! Oh, that saves me so much trouble. I was so afraid this was going to be way worse. Okay, this is a tough scenario. I just got lucky. Don't get me wrong, okay? I've tried this on brutal mode several times and failed again and again and again. I just got frustrated and I'm like, screw it, we're recording it, and I'll keep going until it works. Oh, Lord, okay. So yes, uh, because we start off with so much uh, uh, severity and lethality, you want to go for a transmission focus. That's why the transtasis is incredibly important. Darwinist, we happen to get coma and stuff pretty early on. That may be what saved me in this scenario. So Darwinist is certainly helpful. You need the Hydrophile and the Aquasite to even have a chance of getting out of those islands before they close down. And do not mutate any extra lethality, I'm sorry, do not deliberately mutate. You can't help the mutation, but do not deliberately pick up any extra lethality until you've gotten into every island just to maximize your chances. Focus on getting that cure down as quickly as you can. Pay attention to the news tracker and you've got a shot. I would guess I mean, I got lucky here, but I would guess this is maybe a, this strategy I've just had will be maybe a 10% chance of victory or something like that. I don't know. Just, just going off my gut. Hokey smokes, I never have to do smallpox again. That is amazing. You have no idea how happy I am. All right. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. I hope this was informative. It's a tough plague. It will take many, many attempts for most of us. So uh, try, try again, and uh, maybe you can get lucky like I did. Be sure to leave a comment with your suggestions, and subscribe if you have not already. And I, as always, will see you guys next time.